So let us look at what a composition of relation is. Now, if R is a relation defined from A to B, so that is R connects some of the elements in A with some of the elements in B. And let S be a relation from B to C. That is, S connects some elements of B with certain elements of C. Now, a composite relation SOR, a composite relation SOR is defined from A to C. So, a composite function SOR is defined from A to C. If you going from A to C, the composite relation will be SOR, that is the reverse. Right? So, if I am going in this direction, the name will be in the reverse direction. The composite function SOR is connecting A to C. So, SOR is the set connecting A to C. The set connecting A to C if and only if, that is this A gets connected to C, if and only if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to S. So this SOR relates A to C if A is connected to B by the relation R and B is connected to C by the relation S. If these two are valid, then A connects, A is connected to C by the composite relation S O R. So to understand the composition of relation, let us take an example. So now let us take three sets A, B, C. And R is a relation defined from A to B. S is a relation defined from B to C. So now R relates 1 to A, 1 to B, 2B, 3C and 4C. These are the five connections that R makes. And S makes four connections A to 6, A to 7, B to 5 and C to 5. So, the first relation is R, the second relation is S. Now, you can define a relation S O R from A to C. So, if S O R is a composite relation from A to C, so what is the relation S O R? So, S O R is defined from A to C. And what are the elements that S O R connects? What are the ordered pairs that S O R connects? Has. So, now from definition, if A comma B and B comma C belongs to, if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, belongs to S, then A comma C belongs to S O R. So, now let us see. 1 comma A belongs to R. Right? So, I will write this. 1A belongs to R and A6, A6 belongs to S, right? So, 1A and A6. 1A belongs to R and A6 belongs to S. So, 1 comma 6 belongs to S1. 1 comma 6 belongs to S1. Next, 1A and A7. 1 comma A belongs to R and a comma 7 also belongs to S. 1 comma A belongs to R and A comma 7 also belongs to S. So, 1 comma 7 should also belong to S O R. 1 B B 5. So, you get 1 comma 5. 1 B B 5 and B is not connected to any other. So, 1 A A 6 1 6 1 A a7, 1, 7. 1B, B5, so 1, 5. Next, 2B, B5. So, you get 2, 5, right? 2 to B, B to 5. You get 2, 5 in S1. Next, 3 to C, C to 5. So, you get 3, comma 5 also in S1. 3C, and C is connected only to 5. So, C goes to 5 by S1. 4 to C, C to 5 again. So, 4 comma 5 also belongs to S O R. That means, S O R is a relation from A to C which contains these 6 elements. So, 1 is connected to 6, 1 is also connected to 7, 1 is also connected to 5. And 2 is connected to 5, 3 is connected to 5, 4 is also connected to 5.
So I hope you have understood what a composite relation is.